the king. Dracarys. What's up, Hella Sword? Welcome back to the channel. We are on episode nine of season one in our Clone Wars reaction videos. I got my co-host over here, Mr. Ryan Milky. How you doing, Let's sir? Let's go. That's I'm right. doing great. Cannot wait for this. This is what the third installment now on this journey for Clone Wars, and yeah, it's going to be a good one. Can't wait to get into it. Yes, we're doing Cloak of Darkness, and we finally get to see Ahsoka in our little uh, in our little watch order here, and we also get to see Asajj Ventress and Count Dooku, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we get to see some uh, new characters. Uh, you know, the first two episodes were really just based on the clones. And, and here we get to uh, we get to see some Jedi and Sith, and, and that's why I'm really here. I want to know the story of the what was going on in the prequels and stuff like that. You know, the, I know it's called the Clone Wars, and that's yeah. that's what it was. But yeah, we'll get through it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start this up, and we're gonna react to it. Here we go. Episode nine: The Cloak of Darkness. Viceroy Gunray captured. Senator Padme oh, the gun has scored a victory against the Separatist Alliance. So this was uh, obviously what we missed, so they kind of fill you in, which is kind of nice. Gunray. Yeah, I like how I was initially disappointed with the animation, but th that really looks like Padme, so I'm quite happy with that. Once there, he will face trial for his many <laughs> All these ships still remind me of Lego. <laughs> You made contact with a cruiser. And there's a Soka in the background. And it's the first time we've seen a Soka, right? Yes. This is General Luminara Unduli requesting permission. Luminara. To Luminara. Undo. Luminara. We await your prisoner's arrival. Thank you, Captain Argaius. I look forward to delivering him to you. I am a man of great wealth, and I can be better. So basically, they said they're taking uh, Gunray to trial. That is a very tempting offer, Viceroy. Wow, she looks young. Yeah, it's a lot different, right? Yeah. This is an outrageous miscarriage of justice. <laughs> I demand my litigator. Keep moving. Their voices are always hilarious. Greetings, General. We have the and look at that hairdo. <laughs> very good, Captain. Command agree. Let's get underway. Right away, sir. Pretty sure we still see Luminara um, in Attack of the Clones. I, I think she's in the in the arena. I, How does I a think. How grabbing worm like Gunray rape all She's a uh, Jedi. He doesn't yeah. look that dangerous. Don't let your overconfidence give Gunray another advantage, Ahsoka. Even now, his allies may be conspiring against us. Ooh. Serious threat. These guys. You know who that is, right? The Viceroy. Uh, that's Palpatine. Somehow he's returned. Already put yeah, a somehow. To oh, that's... My Lord. Is that? Is that Dooku? That is Dooku. Will infiltrate the Jedi wow, he's got a pointy chin. Or silence him. Ventress. You are putting a great deal of faith in an operative who has failed us in the past. What about the role of two? Well, this is his apprentice, but yeah, you're right. I think they got to bring only supposed that. To, yeah, 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 yeah. There's only supposed to be two, so that they don't be known by the Jedi. It was a secret yeah, thing. Is she a vampire? I don't think she's a vampire. I just think it's the species she is. Okay. These guys look like they just came straight out of um, Rings of Power. How goes the interrogation? I bet the Jedi will wear him down. I have no idea what you're talking about. You had a great many things. I I'm I'm finding it amazing how they're still being able to portray emotion through animation. Then who are you protecting? I usually look at a lot of people's facial expressions and stuff, and you know, this is an animated thing on the screen, and I can tell that he's not happy with what he's saying. Green lightsaber. Okay. Right now, terror is not a weapon the Jedi use. I wasn't serious. But the only way he'll talk is if he's scared enough. <laughs> he didn't just hear that conversation with you saying you were joking. <laughs> I, I know. It's a little silly. <laughs> Incoming. <laughs> ships. Hey, bro, we're, you're standing like five feet away from him. Uh, it was like in the a previous episode of the guy standing behind him. Yeah. Okay. Oh. 
So it's funny, like, why would you not just, like, make those things and drop a bunch of bombs in instead? <laughs> instead, you send these droids in. Of course, I guess they're trying to rescue them, but... Yeah. Super battle droids have breached our home. That's right, super battle droids. I was trying to remember the name of these guys. Yeah, I only know battle droids, the Roger Roger dudes. They're headed for the detention level. We need reinforcements. Commander. Well, he's not going to be in the sequel. Let's go. A year to make sure you won't talk. So how old is is Ahsoka in this? Like, how is she supposed to be? Uh, so... Teenager? She probably is... Trooper, what you 15. Because I'm trying to think, so Attack of the Clones is ten years after Phantom Menace, we have to protect the prisoner. and Anakin right now would be uh, like twenty something. Okay. So, yeah, I would say fourteen, fifteen makes sense. Oh cool, yeah, because she just looked very young. Yeah. Yeah, remember like when Luke trained to become a Jedi, they said he was too old, and he was like nineteen or twenty as well. Yeah. That was a cool perspective shot. She looked really small then. She's a great uh, villain. She's a really, really good character. It's it's really unfortunate that she never made it to live action. You never know what they could bring back these days. Uh, people are talking about a Damn. blue guy called Thrawn in Mandalorian talks, and I don't know who that is, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get to that when we hit Rebels. Yeah. Okay, 327T. Oh, she's cool, I like it. She hides in the darkness. Molly needs to figure this out and get out of there. All this time she's been fighting those. Yeah, she's like one of those other Jedi, like Aayla Sakura, or like in the last or the first episode we watched with Shock T. It's awesome too. She's just like a dual wielder, so she has two lightsabers. Well, yeah, it would make sense if her master is Dooku, right? Because he has two. Oh yeah, curved hilt. Yeah, that's cool. The Padawan. Shooter. For an early for an early concept show, it's not bad fighting with the lightsabers. It's a trap. Oh. Halt, assassin. Oh, nice. Someone using the force to actually do something. Right, Surrender. I know. Bombs everywhere. Wally. Uh -oh. Wally, you better get out of there. Good character. It's kind of funny, you see like some of these different things they do, and it's like, why do they never use this stuff in the movies? Nice. Yeah. Like that, that, that's, a, that's a sweet way to use your lightsaber. The way she just did it, you know? Yeah, instead of Anakin jumping out of a taxi in the middle of Coruscant and flying down and landing on one, he could have just gone down a building with one hand with the lightsaber. Yeah. I'm wondering if there's going to be a, a two Jedi versus Vicentrix battle at some point. Because she just made that line. She's too powerful for one Jedi alone. Your version is unrefined, amateurish, sloppy. Oh! Who's got a power, more powerful force push? They both must have had level two upgrades. Now you fall, as all Jedi must. She got them there pretty quick. Ooh, go on, Ahsoka. She sent it to Mario World. Oh. There's the full shadow. Two Jedi's fighting one. So I'm intrigued. How does she get white sabers? I'm sure that'll explain that somehow in the storyline. But yeah, I can't wait to find that out. Yeah. Well, it's, it's interesting right now too because she does that, do a wield. Oh, um, nothing to worry about. Two sabers, and right now she only has one. Oh, do shut up! Count Dooku is paying me a fortune to deliver your slimy carcass. So please try to stay alive. 
traitor. She's bad. Oh yeah, I just realized. Yeah, he's bad. Oh. This is very action heavy. This one. Yeah. Yeah, this is much better than the first two episodes. Why'd you do it, Argaius? Wanted a life with more than empty servitude, and for that you'd betray the Republic. You and all nice. Agree on what uh -oh. Makes a good son. Oh darn it! Oh. I never understood that kind of stuff because if if you can use the force, why don't you just grab her? Oh, yeah. You know, it's weird. It should be screwed if a lightsaber had like so many uses. Like you, you can only light it a hundred times because I think she's already done that seven times in this episode. <laughs> lights them up, puts them away. Lights them up, puts them away. <laughs> as successful a rescue as one could hope for, Viceroy. You see, assassin. Our plan would offer that. Good point. Our plan. There you go. See you later, dude. What a waste of a really good haircut. I always had a good feeling about you. And and he's gonna die in the in the later movies anyway, isn't he? I'm sorry. Yep. Despicable. Think Anakin kills him. Yeah. It's okay, Snips. I know you did your best. Snips. Yeah, that's her nick. That's his nickname for. Yeah, their nicknames are uh, Snips, and then she calls him Sky Guy. Sky Guy. Sky Guy. Indeed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> is so? Is there any love interest there between the two of them? No. No. Okay. That's very. Giving each other nicknames is a very like endearing term, you know. I owe you my life, Ahsoka. Because remember, she went on this mission with her um, to help her, but she's really Anakin's Padawan. Okay. Yeah. Good episode. I liked it. What is it? Is that the episode done? That's it. Wow. I enjoyed that one way more than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely a little bit uh, more action than wow, that compared so to the last two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like it was the same length as all the other ones, but for this one, it just flew by. I enjoyed it. You, you, you literally just gave me a little bit of information there that I, I wasn't aware of. So yeah. Ahsoka is Anakin's Padawan. Right, yeah. that's And that's some of the stuff that we skip. Um, you know, I mean, eventually you'll figure it out because, like, in that last conversation there, you can see that, he's, that she's going back to him. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, in, in the movie The Clone Wars, which just, unfortunately, is not very good, that's how you first get introduced to all this, too. So. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. So I mean, so now you see that Dooku is getting an apprentice, um, and then we got to see a Jedi that we don't get to normally see in the movies, or we don't really get to see in the movies. And then you get the little uh, Ahsoka action, and you know, then you learn that she is Anakin's Padawan. So mm -hmm. yep. yeah, yeah. Awesome. Overall, good episode. So okay, I have a question for you guys watching uh, along on YouTube. What do you think to the rule of two with the Sith? I'd be really interested to know what you think of it down below in the comments. Because I always thought that that was a that was a thing that was set in stone that there could only yeah. ever be two. So yeah, yeah. It'd be interesting to see what you guys think. Yeah, it's really it's really interesting. I think they did that because I mean, I mean they don't really explain it right because like Dooku has his own apprentice, but then you still got Sidious who's like the main you know the main guy, and then you're gonna end up seeing other you're gonna see other characters as well pop up. Okay, and I'm excited. Just, yeah, so I don't know. It's it's interesting why or how they decided to do that because I don't think they really I don't think they they really ever explain like why the the rule two was not a thing in the cartoon. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But, but as long as Palpatine returns in uh, the, the ninth movie, then everything's okay, right? Exactly right. So. Exactly. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let us know what you thought about the episode and down in the comments. Don't forget, if you head over to my Patreon, you'll see the unedited version of this. So you'll be able to see the entire episode with our uh, reactions. Um, so you can find that uh, link down in the description below. Ryan, thanks again for uh, doing this with me. We'll be back tomorrow, actually, on Ryan's channel with the next episode. And then back over to my channel on Thursday. All right, everybody. Keep those heads on. 
And again, thank you so much for watching these. I hope you're enjoying these reaction videos. Have a good day.